Hi everybody, Kate Emerson, Quick Shift Deva, and I'm all about thinking, how do we close out strong? Are you limping to the end of the year like so many people I know? Are you overwhelmed? Are you far too stressed? Are you thinking, I wish this goddamn year would just be done? So many people are, well, there's a South African word called gutful, of this cuck year, which means sick and tired of what's been quite a horrid year for a lot of people. And yet what happens is so often we throw out that poor little baby with the bathwater. And it's not all been bad, but so often we're so exhausted and tired and, and adrenal burnout at this time of year that we can't always see the good in what's been going on. So this time of year is so profound. No, no matter what your culture, your age, your religion, your background, where you're living in the world, we all have some resonance with the 31st of December as being some cycle that comes to completion. And we can either drag 2016 or whatever it is with you into the new year, or you can sit down, spend a little bit of time with yourself and really do an introspective process and I call that close out strong. I always say I've been doing this for over a decade. It's probably closer to 13 years since I became a professional life coach. And it's always a way to stand at the end of the year and actually stop and pause and turn around and look back at the year gone by and start doing a bunch of things so that you end proud and tall, not wiped out and small, which is how a lot of us are feeling right now and I know for me every year has a different rhythm so I'm not sure what year your year is about but it's how do you look back so how do you step in to see where you're at how do you look back for what you're proud of and all the highlights in many different facets of your life and there's also a really interesting concept of looking at like all the things that are still on your to-do list that might be driving you a little crazy at the moment and how do you drop them into proper time space reality so that they're taken care of more importantly, so that you're taking care of yourself. This can be a crazy time with all the office parties, all of the end of your demands and projects and things you've still got to get off your plate. You might have guests coming for the holidays, your house might be a mess. Things could just be getting really out of hand for you. So how do you really land all those things that you still need to? And then I talk about a really important concept that I learned probably 20 years ago from a very special healer. And that's looking at the ushers in our life, which is one of my favorite things to do. And how do we go about acknowledging those certain people? And then one of my favorite, of course, because of my love and passion and craziness about all things clutter related, is how do you actually put the year elegantly, and I mean elegantly, to bed? So how do you say goodbye to the year gone by after you've harnessed all the insights and the wisdom and the things that really made you who you are now. How do you take those with you, but leave all the crap behind? And then you are creating a little bit of space so that you have a purposeful, powerful, intentional closeout. And so that you've got some clarity for 2017. Doesn't that sound good? So in the month of November, I started a five-week process with some brave, brave souls. And you know, so many people are going down to the end of the year. These have been going whoop taking off, not landing. They'll land soon, don't you worry. But it's just been such a privilege to be with this group of powerful people who are taking the year, like my gram would say, pull, your, pull yourself up by the, your britches and just really saying, hey, year, I'm in charge. What have you got to teach me? What have you got to show me? What do I still want to take with me into next year? So don't let the end of the year come at you. Why don't you go at your year? That was weird English, wasn't it? And mostly it's about feeling complete. It's about feeling proud. It's about feeling energized. And just that you're in the right place at the right time for the right reason. If you're interested in doing a five-day closeout strong, it starts the moment you say yes. It's uh, under 900 bucks. It's 887 Rand, which is about, I don't know, $59. And it can take five days, or you can print out all the emails, and on the last day of the year, you could sit down for four or five hours and do it all at once. That's up to you. And just see how you can end this year a little differently, a little more elegantly, and a little more in line with who you are and where you want to be. Lots of love. Bye-bye.